morning. Are we ready? Perfect. Thank you, Beth. And good morning. Good morning, everyone there at Namaste Village and everyone on Zoom. It's a great big family meeting today. And I'm very excited because I have a couple of something special to share. First of all, I'm at, whoops, what did that, oh no, don't let me do that. Um, I'm at my second favorite beach. This is Hawks Nest Bay. There's Lisa. Can you see it? Okay. Now I have to figure out how to get back. Oh, no. And um, a couple of dear, I never can figure out how to do this. Hold on. Whoop. Okay, you can hear me though anyway, right? Doesn't matter. Oh, good, I see you now. All right. So it's Holy Wednesday, everybody. This is a perfect day for the message you're about to receive. So open your hearts, open your minds, and we join together. Like yesterday, we we were looking at freedom, and there's no freedom out there in circumstance or people or things. It comes from our inner contact within. And today we're going to look at issues that are more body oriented, medical. And we're going to keep in mind today a joyous, remember, in all things rejoice. We're going to remember joyously our brother Ravi, who right now is on his way to do some chemo in the United States from Ahi Heat. So this is a particularly appropriate message for all of us because we all have aches and pains and bumps and bruises. Last week I had COVID getting off the, hot, off the plane on Monday, I got a Charlie horse, things happen. And they happen in the body as our classroom. And the classroom in the end has one lesson for us to learn. And that's the lesson we're gonna learn. And we're gonna listen to the medicine, the only medicine any of us ever need. And it's here right now. So let's join with Robbie and with each other for headaches or bumps or bruises or whatever it is that comes down the pipe. And instead of reading a passage, I'm gonna give you a live passage. I'm gonna give you a dear sister, Mary Ann, who has been on Step Into Heaven Calls and on this Zoom for years, who is part of our collective family. There are many of us that maybe that speak and others that are silent. We are all equally part of the whole and part of a family of awakening. So Marianne receives illuminating messages from her own Christ mind on a daily basis. And right now I've asked her to share one she got. So Marianne, are you there? I'm here. Take the mic and read that. Oh, good. Welcome, Marianne. And I want to remind everyone, um, and this is okay to say, Marianne is of good health. Sometimes she has bumps and bruises, but for many years she was she was in a wheelchair and went through some amazing healing experiences. So from what she speaks is direct experience. I want you to know that for her, so you understand the depth of her application as well as our own right now. Okay, Marianne, welcome and go ahead, dear. Yeah. Well, <laughs> excuse me. Thank you, Vicki. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, this guidance that I received recently is prompted because I have what's called a cold. But at first, I wasn't sure what was happening. I wasn't sure if my blood pressure was going up, if, you know, do I need to go to the hospital? An inner voice said, no, dear sister, but you do need to go to take your mind to the inner hospital of Jesus and Mary the Holy Spirit and all. Give all to me and breathe with me and let me show you reality that you are ready to surrender into totally while focusing through this body and remaining in this body to do the silent work we are asking you to do. Now, when they say we are asking you to do, I feel this is for all of us who choose this, and for all of us eventually. You are ready through the grace of God. So we are all ready through the grace of God. They say that we need willing and joyful 
and truly humble workers who are unconcerned about fame, yet who are totally given to the love of God in all, always. Yes, even in political, social life, everywhere, the love of God in all. So feel this love in the center of your inner and outer being and vehicle now, your shining heart of all love. And say, I know you will guide me safely, my mind, my vehicle, safely through the love of Jesus and Mary, for they are truly the only hospital of God in and for all. Breathe in and with me eternally. Be in the all-encompassing love of God as symbolized by Jesus and Mary. Ever go through the name of God, the name of Jesus and Mary, your holy name, and the holy name of all. Ever go through and beyond this holiness to the love beyond beyond word and form, the love beyond love, in and of all, to the nameless one of eternal, present, happiness and joy, the heart beyond the heart of all. Happiness and joy in the heart beyond the heart of all. This is the true hospital of love, the hospitality of love, the reality of love. This and only this truly heals all. Begin again to enter the present fullness and holiness of love beyond word and form. The energy beyond energy that heals and holds once again, once and for all. You are now charged, in quotes, with holding being a vessel for the love of God, for seeing this love in all, always, with the vision of Christ. And the funny thing was that my battery failed last weekend. It had just been serviced. <laughs> there just wasn't anything happening. And so the Holy Spirit says, oh, where is it? Uh, my battery is low. Just, just surrender into the jumper cables of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether I should go on, Vicki, because I had more guidance last night. I couldn't Mary sleep. Ann, go right ahead, my dear. Did you okay. read the fun part about when you asked about your burping? That was very funny. Oh, that was the first part. <laughs> yes, don't forget I, that because it's so that's the ordinary stuff that everyone okay. can identify with. Go ahead, Marianne. Read and okay. say what well, you like. this began the whole thing. I give you my fear, my unbalance, my tiredness, and my burping. Do right. I need to go to the hospital or to a doctor or take my blood pressure? <laughs> and then that that guidance I just read came. So Last night, in the middle of the night, I just couldn't sleep. And so I asked for guidance, any guidance on sickness or whatever. And inner voice said, dear sister, when illusions seem to take over, give them to me without dwelling on anything in this regard. Serve only love. You need not deny what appears to be in your experience, nor feel guilty that illness appears to be here with me. See that illness is a harbinger of awakening. When you let it be only under my guidance, it's a harbinger for your opening into the true good and the beauty of never ending love beyond love and shining through everyone and everything always. See with me and be what you are, shining stars, all of you, a whole and holy creation of God with all God's powers and attributes. Ask me how to let this serve 
co-creation. That seemed to be important to say. Ask Holy Spirit how to let this serve co-creation. Amen, dear sister. And so I said, I give you all my symptoms and thoughts to the service of creation only under your guidance. In her voice says, go and sleep, dear sister, and let the spell of I'm not interested in illness. I should back up and say that a, a friend, a dear friend, her guidance, it's not, it's not opposing her guidance, that's for her. But she says, I'm not interested in illness. And I realized what happened with me was that I was feeling guilty because I was, <laughs> I was, Illness was right here, and it seemed to be in my experience, so I took it to the Holy Spirit. So go and sleep, uh, and let the spell for you of I'm not interested in illness be broken, so you can let its gifts arise in your life as you walk through this doorway to truth and love. Go rest, dear sister. And I said, I'm interested in going through this doorway to truth and love. And in her voice then continued, said, and bless your dear sister for showing her way. You do not understand, but let me guide you always. And I said, I do not need, I felt I do not need to accept illness as real. Yes, dear sister, for you, this is a different way to the same goal of God's love and truth fully in your awakened consciousness. Remember, it does not have the power to weaken the body. You know this. Let it serve the purification of your body and mind vehicle as a clear channel for only the truth and love of God. And when inner voice said, you know this, I noticed such as right now, I don't feel the illness. <laughs> when I'm doing stuff with the Holy Spirit, <laughs> I don't feel it. And I've noticed this throughout my life. When I was a massage therapist, my nose would be dripping. It would come on suddenly. And I would say to the client, you know, we don't have to do this. And they say, okay, we'll go ahead. So we went ahead, my nose would stop dripping, all symptoms would go away, I'd have lots of energy for that session. So there's a healing in my mind that an opportunity for healing, for letting go of the reality of illness and not letting, not believing that it can weaken the body. So there we go, Vicki, it's all yours. Thank you, Miriam, everyone. Is there a line or two you'd like to sing to us? Oh, ah. This is an example of opening to the experience of letting it all go in peace and joy. Miriam often sings these messages to us. And as soon as any of us move into lyrical movement, that flow, Watch your own experience and you'll feel it with Marianne, whatever she's going to say, how the grasp on the little bit of fear that might be surrounding you falls away with the moving into the flow of music. Marianne, go ahead. Do you find any line? Okay. Any line. Go ahead. I give you my fear and unbalance, tiredness and burping. <laughs> Do I need to go to the hospital or see a doctor or take my blood pressure? No, dear sister. No, dear sister. But you do need to go to take your mind to the inner hospital of Jesus and Mary the Holy Spirit in all. And then I said, do I need to rub devil's club salve in my knee that I just bought from some indigenous healers? <laughs> and inner voice said, give it to me and breathe with me. Let me show you reality. 
you are ready to surrender into totally well focusing through this body and remaining in this body to do the silent work we are asking you to do you are ready through the grace of god we need willing joyful joyful and truly humble workers who are unconcerned about fame yet who are totally given to the love of god in all always yes even in political social life everywhere the love of God in all, the love of God in all. Feel this love in the center of your inner and outer being and vehicle now, your shining heart of all love. Thank you, Miriam. Miriam, can you hear me? I got sound. I, I couldn't hear that, Vicki. Can you hear me? I can now. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay. All right. I have sound. Miriam, thank you for that. Thank you for singing it. And I'm standing, Lisa's holding me up in the ocean here in the Caribbean. Because the experience of the flow of water, we talk about that namaste experience. It is that flow, like the flow of listening to Marianne's song or whatever song is in your heart. Listening and being part of that flow, whether it's the ocean or a song, where we let go of the little things we seem to focus on and we open to the greatness, the grandness, the beauty, the strength and power of present love. That's presently God right there. So I am standing in the ocean, and here's Lisa holding me up. <laughs> and the phone. And the phone. And the other thing I wanted to say, Miriam, those were such perfect yeah. directions. Everything, whether it's some of us sickness, some of us um, careers or business or relationship, mm. all of our lives are a perfect setup for each of us. To, to JC Central, that's what I call it, holds all these different offices. They have a hospital, they have a business center, a travel center. They have everything. These are the centers of healing that if we need help in any area, when we go within and we connect to the soul that we are in communion with, the, and the, sim, the images we use as symbols, Jesus, Mary, Buddha, whatever symbol is helpful that opens our heart and relaxes us from the strain of trying to be separate in, the, in this body identity, use it, use it and celebrate it and enjoy it because we are to be enjoyed right here where we are. We have no threat outside of us. We have no solutions outside of us. Everything is turning within to love. Love is the solution. It's the fulfillment. It's the answer, whether we speak it or we're silent for all of us. So Marianne. You're cutting out, Vicki. You've stopped. Thank you. You, that was exquisite. Oh, let's give it to um, Maria. Maria, you can take it. Are you there, Maria? You're muted. Oh. Can you hear? Me? Yes, I'm here. I knew you had it on mute. Just do that. Thank you, Marianne, for that beautiful sharing, and also Vicky for your joy. I can't believe you're in the water. I was like, is she in the water? Yes, she is in the sea. I feel really guided to give it to, to Calico just because yesterday I didn't give her, we didn't, she didn't have time. And I just want to see, I want to join her in her laughter. And then if I have some time, I can just wrap it up with something short because we don't have that much time. So Calico, take it away. Thank you so I much. I know what all the laughter's about. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Maria and Vicki and Marianne. Marianne, could you, I want your email. I want some way to get in touch with you. You're, you're my sister. 
I, I, I forgot. I forgot I had you. <laughs> and Thank I you. love connecting with you. Um, you know, the whole thing of sickness. Oh, my God. Um, the, you know, I go to Dr. God. I have I haven't mm. been to a doctor in, in over 12 years. And it was because the last doctor I went to, I was still in hospice. And the doctor said, come back in two months. And it was before we had health care. And they said, and we'll do another MRI and we'll tell you where it's moved to in your lungs. And I thought, I'm going to pay you $850 to tell me where it's moved to in my lungs. I think not. So I <laughs> went out and it was it was Jesus all the way after that point. It's like, man, if I have anything bothering me, I go into prayer with Jesus and that's why, Marianne, you're my sister. If I'm burping excessively, I go in prayer to Jesus because that's the only answer I need. <laughs> and, it's, and I always get what I need to hear, which is usually some aspect of still wanting to make something wrong. It can be very subtle and, and very egregious. I mean, it's just, it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like the slug the evil slug that just kind of slowly moves into me and I have to root it out. And I have a duck that loves slugs and I see Daisy coming after it and she eats it up immediately. And it's kind of like, I need to keep my mind as pristine and as pure as possible all the time. No exceptions ever. So I just, I thank you so much. This was, thank you, Vicki, for introducing me to Marianne. Marianne, I want to have something. Vicki, send me her email. <laughs> I need to. I need yes, to I will. I will have a connection with you. Um, I, I, this has been such an inspirational morning for me. I thank you all, and I pass it back to you, Maria. Thank you, Kaneko. You're such a joy. You're such a joy. Um. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying um, the, the ease of everything in the sense of how Calico is sharing and Vicky and also Marianne, as you, you can feel that it's, there's a lightness to it, right? You can feel that it's, it's like, it's a joke. Have you gotten the joke yet? <laughs> right? And I just got goosebumps. It's it's that simple. It's like, we get the joke. We get how silly it is. And at the same time, it feels very real, right? The, the body ailments or, or even the burping, right? It just feels very real. And at the same time, I love this. In the back, there's within what the ladies have shared today, there's this sense of I am remembering. There's the background. It's like this is in the foreground and it feels so real. Mm -hmm. And what Marion was speaking to is that there's spirit is, is just sharing with her what is the truth, what's really real. As Calico said, we, we need to become very uncompromising with this. I really want to know the truth. I really want to give this over to Jesus, to Mary, to Juanito, Pepito, whatever word resonates with you. It really doesn't matter what that is. It's just really a giving over of what, what you, you're believing in the moment and the separation. And what I was getting this morning for everyone is, I don't know why this came up. People, anyone in this room feel that either now or before you've been very hard on yourself. Yeah. Zoomers. Yeah. A sense of being very hard on yourself. Well, I got this morning. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. Stop it. It was very sweet. I said, yeah, I mean, but spirit's a little easier said than done when you are in the thick of a health issue, correct? It's like, it just, it's just so hard to be spiritual there, right? 
And I, and I just, what is coming through is that that's okay. That's okay. I think letting go of the judgment that it doesn't need to hurt or it doesn't need to be this way. Remember, we've talked about this before that when we want things to be different than what they are, that's including the pain, that's including the burping, okay? That's including the ailment in the moment. When we want things to be different than they are, we we lose. And we also get into that God complex, like we know and we don't know. So when you're coming into this fearful place, and I love what Marian said about this channeling, know that the power to heal is within you and that within you is all you need to know. The doctor can give it to you. The book can give it to you. This talk that I'm doing right now can give it to you. This There's nothing that can give it to you because you already know and have it all right now. And when you realize that, you feel so empowered because then you're connected to your source, to God, to that mind that you've never left. And then you get to be within the pain. You get to be within the problems. You get to be within your life, your obstacles, everything, this this illusion of things and coming in and out. And then you're like, I remember. And then you forget and you remember again. And then, oh my God, what just happened, right? It's like this, this, this whole thing in life and then... You get to be in it and just have compassion, have grace, fearlessness. Stop it. I'm so ready, God, to experience your fullness, your wholeness. I'm ready to go to the Jesus, Mary, Juanito, Pepito hospital. And I'm willing to let go of what I think is important. I'm willing to stop bashing myself, crucifying myself. The time has come. I'm I'm willing to stop that. I know it's easier said than done, but it can't happen right now. So I just want us to all claim this morning, whatever that looks like for us. We have no expectations. That's important. No expectations. Because I have to say, being in this world of illusion that we can see, right? Do you see me? Something's happening. Do you see me moving my fingers? Something is happening here. You don't want to deny that. But within that expression of body, of form, you get to remember. That is what we're all speaking to. We get to remember what is really real. So today, as you walk through your day, uh, what I was going to say is that we are going to forget. That's what I was going to get to. We are going to forget. But the truth is, is that we get to hold this vibrational space of when we do forget, we choose compassion. We choose grace. So I want you today, now that we have just one more, a few more minutes, just two more minutes here, is to make this commitment to have compassion and grace. And when you have that body thing going on, when you have these scarcity thoughts, these fearful thoughts, when you are losing your mind and going, as I like to say, cuckoo for cocoa puffs, when you're thinking those caca thoughts, To have the determination, the willingness, the big fat willingness that I like to say to remember your father, father, mother, God, to remember what's really real, to remember you've never left the mind of God. And the Course in Miracles says that I say big willingness, the Course in Miracles says all you need is a little bit of willingness. So when that obstacle, that issue comes up for you, right? Like mine, my topic pregnancy, my father's. Um, my first, my divorce, my first divorce, <laughs> the the topic pregnancy, the my dad abandoning me with the whole, you know, um, committing suicide. The opportunity when spirit would say to me, remember, sweetheart, when the ego comes in, just remember all these stories that we've been sharing this week so far and how there is another way to see it. And that when they come up, And when you are going to crucify yourself and when you're going to forget and when you're going to go into the illusion, when you're going to go into the separation, I want you to stop it. I want you to stop it. Why? Because you are so worthy of it. Every single one of you on Zoom, every single one of you here. 
I don't care your narrative. I don't care your story. I don't care what you have. I don't care what you don't have. I don't care what mommy, daddy, bobby, mommy said to you when you were little, you weren't good enough. I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> the time has come. So the question is, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love you all. Thank you, everyone. I think we're gonna end with Amen, Amen, Amen. Love you all. Bye. Many blessings. Very blessing storm. Hi, Judy. Hi, everybody. Love you all. Thank you, Mary Ann. Thank, thank you. you. I will be away tomorrow. And in Calico, I will see you, you on Friday. Um, I love you. Okay, Carolyn. <laughs>